Hi everybody, uh, now in this series what we're going to be learning is how to make desktop applications. So you could be CFT engineer, you could be CAE engineer, you could be anybody, data science engineer. It's always good to know how to make desktop applications and for this we'll be using inbuilt Python tgenter library. And uh, one more thing, uh, I honestly believe that you know in case if you know objective render programming then the this becomes sort of very efficient and manageable but in case if you're just using functional approach then it becomes tedious once your application starts to get bigger and bigger if you have more widgets on onto your application then it becomes kind of tough so what we'll do we'll use class in objects throughout this series and uh, First of all, we'll just try and look how to put widgets onto your applications and then we'll see what each widget can do or can bring to the table and what all we can do with that widget. And then we'll slowly, steadily start combining those widgets to make things work according to how we want. So without further ado, let's just begin. So you have your blank Python file. So all you need to do now is you just need to say from, from T Kenter import everything okay and you can import uh, you can import numpy as well but we won't need it as of now so once you've done that so now you have to make an object of the of the application okay so how do you do that so you say root is my variable and i want my tkinter object okay and once you make this object so this will give you a window right but in order to put that window on screen when we run it so we'll have to do root dot main loop like so so in case if i run this now you see so this window pops up there's no widget on on this application as of now so no button no label nothing of that sort so you can make it bigger and you can like you know cross it as of now so no classes and objects right still so what we need to do let's just make a class okay so we make a class uh, and we call it uh, basic okay we just call it basic and then it's not inheriting from any other class so first of all we'll need to define our uh, init function and then obviously need to put self here and we don't know what goes inside our init function so we'll just say pass okay now uh, at this point you must understand what init function does init function so whatever you would want your screen to or your application to always have that thing goes on inside your init function so let's try with very basic stuff let's try and put button on it yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say self dot b1 just a button so this is the command which you have to write and then obviously you'll have to give the your root window so your application you want your button to be on your application and that application is stored inside the variable root okay what would you want to call this button as uh, just say press me okay so you do that and then once you so now you have your button then you will have to pack it as well so you say b1 dot pack so it will be on screen okay so once you run this now then you should be able to see the button on screen but uh, if i run it now you won't see anything you see nothing's gonna be there so no button which so the basic thing which we created earlier that's just gonna be there so you close it thing is when you're using classroom objects unless you make an object out of the class nothing's gonna happen okay so the very first thing is i'm gonna say okay uh, object object one is equal to basic and then you've created your object okay and now you are not passing any parameter so it's just gonna be putting your button on screen so if we run this now so you see i don't know if it's visible let me just make it bigger so there you see there is press me okay sorry so this is how you make buttons and put them on your application okay but let's try and make this button do something so how are we gonna do that well uh, there is another command 
for argument you can say so over here you can say command is equal to self dot do something okay like so and now do something what's that thing well that's gonna be a function so I'm just gonna be creating function do something and like so and then we're just gonna pass for now that's my habit this I just pass so that there's no problem in even if it's empty so I need to put self here because the object's address is gonna go into this self so you every time you make a make an attribute inside your class or you make a function inside your class then you have to put self right okay so mind you this thing yeah self dot do underscore something you are not putting normal way of calling your function is like so yeah but uh, this time we are not doing that we are just passing this function object and once it's get there and then it's gonna once you click it then it's gonna be running okay so we do that for now and then uh, what do we want this function to do well uh, moment you press this button what I would want is to make a label and say something okay so I'm just gonna say l1 is equal to my label so for making label this is how you make label and where do you want to place your label you want to place your label in the root and what text should it say this should say I have or button has been pressed okay like so so button has been pressed it's gonna say that on screen every time you uh, click this button okay let's try and run this now so you have this press me button so you press the button but you can't see anything the reason is because you have to pack this everything whatever widget you create you have to pack it as well so once you pack it that means that's gonna be attached to your application okay so if you run it now so again you open it so press me so every time you press then it'll say button has been pressed so that's the basic uh, button pressing and getting label onto your application and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you